hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new thank you so much for joining us today I am going to be talking about newborn essentials a whole slew of newborn essentials that I have used and found personally super helpful with both of my girls who are both toddlers and that I will be using also with my new baby. She'll be due this year in May of 2019 and I'm 25 weeks pregnant right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I will also be doing another newborn essentials haul probably here in the next two months when I'm 30 to 35 weeks when I have collected a little bit more of my stuff. I've had a shower and I have mostly everything that we are gonna be using for our new baby. And we the first thing that I hands down could not live without with newborns all the way, Layla actually, she's 17 months, she still wears some of these sometimes because they are so cute. She doesn't make a huge mess when she's eating anymore because she's kind of out of the baby stage and into a toddler stage. So these just complement any super cute outfit that she's wearing. These are here are from Copper Pearl. I will have a link in the description box. They are super cute bandana bibs. They are super absorbent. These are so cute. Look at these beautiful patterns that they have. And I got these actually last year. And they lasted, like I said, from Layla's newborn all the way until right now. So I'm sure they still have these and also more seasonal patterns. These ones are also super cute. There's peaches on them. So adorable. We love Copper Pearl. This one's so cute. These have held up so well. They go in the dryer and washer really well. Sky blue with little carnations on it. So cute. Which brings me to my second newborn must have, which is super cute pacifier clips. These are so cute and adorable. We never used these with Shukri Marie, but we did use them with Layla. They made any outfit complete. And if we didn't snap them onto her clothes, like right here with these little snaps, we would snap them onto her bandana bibs. So since I'm gonna have three babies under three years old, I'm definitely gonna use a pacifier or binky with new baby for sure. <laughs> So that is a definite must have. Look at this one, just nude color balls, white and a really pretty marble. I love these, they're so pretty. Of course we have baby throws. I get a lot of their throws from stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, places like that. This one was $6.99, it's super cute and plush and it matches a lot of baby pink that we have in the new baby's little wardrobe. It has um, babies and hearts and some little monkeys and some zoo animals like giraffes and things on them. So again, this is only $6.99 and it's super cute. And on the other side, it's another shade of pink, so cute. Which brings me to my next newborn must have, which are muslin blankets. I love these so much. I use these with all the babies. They're super popular. They're getting cheaper and cheaper as they're becoming more and more in demand. These are all from um, Pillow Fort from Target. Super cute, love them. They're super lightweight. They wash up really easily. I know a lot of people like that Aiden and Anai brand, but I really like the Pillow Fort ones and they're super cheaper, so I really love them. This is a super pretty shimmery gold hamper. Layla's crib, which will probably convert into the new baby's crib after the new baby's six or seven months. We haven't really decided yet. Her whole crib set is from Love Text Baby and it matches this. I finally got this. Super excited about it. We're gonna have three girls under three, so we're gonna have a lot more laundry to do. So I'm glad I got this hamper. Super cute laundry basket, Love Text Baby, so cute. I love it. Sophie the Giraffe. Who cannot live without a Sophie the Giraffe? Who knows when our newborn daughter is gonna be cutting teeth when she's two months versus when she's seven months or 11 months or over one years old, all babies cut teeth at different times. So this is really good on hand. This is from Nordstrom's. It retails for $14.95. I got this during their anniversary sale last year in 2018 and I believe it was $9. I wish I had known about this company when Shukri was born, but I didn't, didn't discover them until 2017, until after Layla was born. Baby bling bows are the best bows ever. They stretch 
incredibly. They wash super well and I love them. I also get these from Nordstrom's. You can hit a jackpot, get lucky one day and go in store to Nordstrom's and get them for a dollar instead of their normal retail price, which is $15. Um, they're just so many cute patterns. We have close to a hundred of these that I've collected over the last year and a half. And like I said, they wash really well. So Layla's old ones, she still wears, plus the new baby sister can wear them. They're super convenient, they're super cute. They make any outfit complete. Um, like this one here can stretch from newborn all the way until three or four years old. Love baby bling, love them. Another brand that we love, we have a ton of sleepers in these, are Burt's Bees Babies. These are super cute little bloomers. These are really good for summertime since she is going to be a summer baby. These wash also really well. Burt's Bees Baby also does run pretty big. Like a lot of Layla's pajamas that she's wearing now, she's almost 18 months, are still six to nine months from Burt's Bees Babies. So New Baby will fit in these. They're a really good family brand and I've used them for the past couple of years. So yeah. Our first purchase in the mail today from Amazon. This is from Va Va Baby and a YouTuber that I watch that I really enjoy watching. She also has two little girls around the same age as my daughters and she is pregnant again with her third baby and this time it's a boy. She used this with her daughter that is the same age as baby Layla. This is where I got the idea from and I researched it and it's supposed to be a really good nightlight if I can open it. Again, it's from Va Va Baby but it's a super cute little pink egg nightlight and it's censored by your touch so you can tap on it for if you want it bright, super bright or really bright or just like a soft dim light which we will probably be using a soft dim light for when I'm breastfeeding in the middle of the night. Such a pretty pink color. That'll just go perfect. There's a sticker that I need to take off. Look how cute, I wanna turn it on. So that's super cute, I'm happy with that. Um, Honest Baby brand, their um, organic healing diaper rash cream works amazing. Layla has super, super sensitive skin and if I don't change a diaper that she went poop super quick, if I'm on the road, if I'm headed to Spokane or sometime where I just didn't know that she had pooped, like I can't smell it, she'll get a rash so fast. If I put a super small layer of this on it, it works amazing, her rash will be gone immediately. So Shukri also has really sensitive skin. So I'm kind of guessing that our new baby girl is gonna have sensitive skin. So this is another hands down newborn must have that I'm really glad I'm gonna get. This one here is almost out. So I will be going to Target and repurchasing this. Love it. Moby wrap, I didn't wrap with any of my babies, but chasing a super active three-year-old, chasing another one-year-old, and having a newborn with me, it's gonna be so convenient to have a Moby wrap. Super excited about this. I've heard wonders about this. This is all black. I think I want maybe another one, a tan color or a camel color or a, a blush pink color or maybe a mauvey pink color. But I'm really excited about this being I'm only 25 weeks and my back is already killing me. So new baby must have definitely a wrap any kind of wrap that you think is good or that you've heard about or read reviews there's solely wraps there's all sorts of wraps that are out there that are really good this is a little bit of a cheaper version this is around $25 and this is a Moby wrap the last few things that I have I'm going to be breastfeeding and I'm gonna need to cover up when I'm out in public this one here I got from Amazon it was $10 so this one piece of material like can go five or six different ways. Shopping cart cover, a stroller cover, a cover up when you're breastfeeding. I will link this also in the description. These are lifesavers with both of my girls since I did breastfeed both of them and I'm still breastfeeding Layla. We're on to the, um, the farther end of weaning her though, so thank God. And then I also have this black and white one. So cute. I love these. Like I can't have another baby without these. And they're cheap. 
So the last thing that I'm going to recommend is if you are going to co-sleep with your baby in which we don't know our sleeping situation with our newborn baby yet, but I did find this Baby Delight Snuggle Nest Surround Extra Large Co-Sleeper. I'm really excited about this. We used one with Layla because she did co-sleep in our bed for the first few weeks. This one has a sound machine on it, which I use sound machines with both of the girls and still they love to fall asleep with their sound machines. Okay, this was at Marshall's for $39.99. So that's a really good deal. Every year, so many infants get smothered by their parents. They don't know what's going on and they are heavy sleepers and they crush their babies, you guys. So if you are going to co-sleep, please consider getting a snuggle nest or something like a halo. I think we're going to go with a halo also, but this is for just in case when I do need to throw her in the bed with me to, for whatever reason, because it just happens sometimes. I don't want to smash a baby. Like nobody wants to smash their little baby. So here it is. It's a super cute baby pink color. I need to find a mattress pad small enough to go with this, but it's so compact. It just folds right up like that. So it's never going to be in the way after we're done with it. And then there is a sleeping wedge for the baby. And then this is a sound machine in it. So this is going to be also super convenient when we need to use it. It's not the best idea to co-sleep, but I have co-sleeped before, so I'm not against it. Well, again, I'm going to have everything linked in the description box and I am going to have a number two newborn essentials after I have a shower and after I get closer to my due date when I have completely everything gathered up. Thank you so much. If you are new, please consider subscribing, turn your notification bell on, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.